Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you all how to make Dick's Sporting Goods. So hopefully you all enjoy it and let's go ahead and get this started. Alright, now let's start out with the foundation. As you see, it's really not all that big and it's very simple. So what we're going to do is come right over here to the very left front of the building. The entrance is going to be right there, but we're going to come to the left corner up front right here. And we're going to grab the sandstone and brick for most of this build. So right here on the corner, we're going to do this first and we're going to go that way across the front. So grab your sandstone and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then come out by one block with your brick and do three. And then go back in one block and do another eight with your sandstone. Come out another block, three with your brick. And go in another block. 8 with your sandstone. Now come out a block, 3 with your brick, and then go in, 8 with your sandstone. Now most of this build is going to be the same thing over again. Along the sides, on both sides, and on the other side of the front up there is going to be just like this. It's going to be 8 sandstone and then it's going to come out a block just like what we have here with the brick three and then back and forth just like this all right now once you have that what we're going to do is come to the right of this sandstone we're going to take this brick and we're going to make a three by three right off of here just like that all right now grab your green concrete place one right there and we're getting right here at the entrance so go in one with your sandstone and it's going to be another eight and once you have your eight with your sandstone there this is where the windows are going to start so go into the ground and place your anisite next you're going to have Two more green concrete just like that. And then with your anisite, you're going to go in the ground again with your windows. And this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 with your anisite right there. Now right down here off of your 11, you're going to do two more of your green concrete. And then just like what we did right there, you're going to have one and a set here. And then with your sandstone right here, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, it's going to be the same thing as what we just done. You're going to have a green concrete coming out one here. And then with your brick, you're going to have a three by three. And then right off of this, you're going to have eight sandstone. And then just like what we've done, you're going to have three brick coming out by one block. You're going to go in a block with your sandstone. Come out a block with your brick by three. Go in with your sandstone 8 again. Come out with your brick by 3. And right here at the corner, you're going to have 8 right here. So let's go ahead and recap. So looking at it like this right here. We're going to have the front entrance right here. And off the front right here. You're going to have a set of 1, 2, 
three, four, and five sandstone. You're gonna have a three by three brick here, and then you're gonna have three brick coming out right here. One, two, three. Now over here, the same thing. So, sandstone one, two, three, four, and five. Just like what we've done down there. And then your three by three brick here. And then your three brick coming out like that. It's the same thing, like I said. Alright, now once you have that, you're going to come around here around the front off the side here and I'm not going to do all this counting over again because it's going to be the same thing I'm just going to look down at it and you can see for yourself so right off the front you gotta have another set of eight right here and then you're going to have this brick right here coming out by three and again the same thing so I'm just going to show you how many uh, brick pillars that we're going to have. You're going to have one, two, three, four, five, and six. This would be six right here on the corner. And with the sandstone, it's going to be the same. It's going to be eight. So I'm going to count how many of those you're going to have. So counting this piece here off the corner, off the front, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right. So hopefully you all got that. So let's go ahead and come to the other side over here. And it's going to be the same exact as the other side. I'm not going to do no counting on this side because it gets kind of annoying. I know. I'm just going to show you that it's the same thing right here as you see. So just go ahead and do that same thing on both sides. Alright, now once you have both sides, that side and that side done with your brick and sandstone, then we're going to concentrate on the back of the building. So what we're going to do is come right over here to the left of the back and bring your brick around like this. So it's going to be three this way and through this way as well. Alright, now along the back is going to be pretty simple. We're going to use the light gray concrete. And it's going to come off here by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So 20 with your light gray concrete. And then you're going to come right here with your sandstone. Three, and then one there. And then you're going to have your windows here. This is going to be like a little back entrance. Three of your sandstone stairs. But these sandstone stairs are going to be upside down right here. So right here, what I'm going to do is place... Three anisite, three upside down stairs, then two sandstone. In between each window, you're going to have two sandstone. So two here, two here, and so on. So you're going to have another window here. So three of your anisite, three upside down stairs, and then two more sandstone. And you're going to have another window. 
And then two more sandstone. Another window. And don't worry, I'll count these windows so you guys can have the same as me. And two more sandstone. And then another set of windows here. And then you're going to end up with doing the same thing on the other side. So two sandstone there and then turn this way to make this shape just like that. So we have one, two, three, four, and five windows. Alright. Now once you have that. And what we're going to do is come right here, the light gray concrete. And just to make it easy for later, let's go ahead and take this on across to right here. Just connect that up. Why not? Alright, now right off of here, we're going to go to the right along the building there. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34 with your light gray concrete now once you have your 34 right here we're going to do our docking area where the trucks back up for shipment so go in a block with your anisite and it's going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine now right here we're going to have our cobblestone it's going to be in the ground just like this it's going to be nine also and then you're going to have three of your light gray concrete. And then you're going to do the same thing right here with your nine of your anisite. And also with your nine cobblestone in the ground. And then right here, the light gray concrete. To connect that up, you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. And to finish this off, two more brick, just like that. Alert, now let's come to the front right here. Right here, what we're going to do is take the green concrete right here at the entrance. And we already have these two blocks down. We're going to add ten more blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, and 10. And you go ahead and do it to this one too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright. Well, once you have your 10 added to those, then come right over here with your black stained glass full blocks and come up by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now right here, we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Do the same thing here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right here as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, now once you have that, then go ahead and come across right here. And connect that up. And right here in the middle, go ahead and bring it down. Do another one here, and another one here. We're going to have a doorway here and a doorway here. So go ahead and put this here. Now I'm going to switch it up to make it a little bit more noticeable this door and not a window using the white stained glass panes now this one here I'm going to leave closed so I'm going to do this to make it closed a closed door this side over here to make it noticeable that it's a door I'm going to leave it open so I'm going to do three there three there and then I'm just going to do this just like this. That way people will know, hey, it's a doorway, not a window. 
All right, now once you have that, then go ahead and grab your stone slabs. Come right here, and you're gonna add three. One, two, three, right above that window. And then go ahead and take this across the front here, and then add three here. One, two, three. Now this is gonna be a total of three blocks wide with the slabs. Alright, and once you've got that, then go ahead and grab your green concrete place down here like this. Now this green concrete is going to come around the front just like this. And then come around this way. Just like that. Now on top of this, go ahead and place your stone slabs. So you should have this here. Alright, now once you've got that, then grab your signs. And you're going to place the signs off of here, like this. Along the side. Go all the way across the front all the way across and this side as well. All right, now once you have your signs all the way across the front, then what we're gonna do now is grab the stone slabs, come right here and add one, two, three. Go ahead and come across these windows right here and right here also one, two, three. Alright, now, with your sandstone, off the front here, right here we're going to add 12 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Go ahead and take this right here, cross the front, and it's going to end up right down here. So this is going to be 12 blocks here, and it should connect up like that. Alright, now, down here on both sides, the sandstone is going to come up. Both sides are going to be the same. Right in here, you're going to put the sandstone. And it's going to come across like that. So do the other side the same. And this right here is going to come up right there. And this is going to come up like this. And just fill this in right here. Just like that. Alright, now right over here, it's going to be the same thing. So just like what we just done, sandstone is going to come through here like this. It's going to come straight up like that. And then down here, sandstone should go in here. And then here as well. This goes all the way up here, and this gets filled in. So this is what you should have. Well, Alright, now what we're going to do is grab the sandstone, and this part here that we run across here is going to be a total of three blocks. So this is one, this is going to be two, so take this on down. And this is going to be three. So it's going to come across just like this. And right here as well. Alright. And once you've got that, now grab your white concrete. Now the white concrete is going to be filled in right through here. But it's going to be 
on the back like this. So go ahead and fill this in just like this off the back. So on the front it looks like this. So go ahead and do that same thing. Fill this part in and this part as well. Alright now once you have this then what we're going to do is grab the green concrete. And this is going to be a total of 22 blocks tall counting this block. So we're going to add 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Alright, so we're going to do the same thing on this side. And then we're going to take this on across. Let's just go ahead and connect this up. So it's going to come up. Add 21 to that. Should be like this now. Now what I do on this side is going to be the same on that side. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The 6th block come inwards right here. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right here. And then right here we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then right here we're going to have 3. 1, 2, 3. Go ahead and fill this in right here. Like that. And then we're going to take these stone slabs. The stone slabs are going to come across the front right here on the sandstone. Right down here. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then right here, one, two, three. Just like that. Just like the other side. Alright, now once you have this, then now simply take your green concrete and fill this in. Alright, now once you have that filled in, grab your stone slabs. Come right here up top on top of this green concrete and carry it on down right on top of here just like this alright now I'm gonna be working on this pillar right here and it's gonna be the same as this one over here so everything I do on that pillar is gonna be the same on both of these alright so what we're gonna do on this pillar we already got the brick so go ahead and come up another 3x3 three three with your brick. Now we're going to go back and forth with the sandstone and the brick. So go ahead and put the sandstone one layer. And then another 3x3. Three three, but it's going to be 2 with your brick. Like that. So we're going to do this over and over again. And it's going to be a total of 4 with your stripe of sandstone so this is going to be the another sandstone and right here is going to be another two layers of your brick like this so and then you're going to do another this is going to be your third layer of your sandstone and then another two layer of your brick. Alright, so go ahead and do one more right here. Like that. And then now you should have one, two, three, and four sandstone in there like that. So on top of that fourth one, you're going to do six your brick one two three four five six so go ahead and fill this in real fast with your brick 
and then on top of that you're gonna end up having another layer of sandstone so that'll be like this so you got your six there and then you're gonna do another layer of your sandstone like this and then on top of that sandstone you're gonna do six more brick one two three four five six again this pillar right here is gonna be the same as the pillar on the other end of the entrance so once you have your six with your brick on top up here you're gonna take the stone slab and just place the stone slab like this so this is what you should have here All right, now once you have the pillars on both sides the same and everything just like this we're gonna concentrate on the lettering now don't worry I'm gonna count each block for you make it easy so coming off of this pillar here it's gonna be seven blocks one two three four five six seven before we get to the D now off of this one it's gonna be seven blocks as well off this pillar it's gonna be one two three four five six seven as well so it's gonna be right here dead center to make it look nice and also the lettering is going to be one block from here and from this here is going to be one two three four all right now we have that straightened out let's go ahead and do this lettering here so seven blocks in one block down right here we're going to do the quartz full block one two three and four all these letters are going to be four blocks tall and three blocks wide so four down one here one here and then we're going to have the half slab here and half slab right here and then two full blocks of quartz like that very simple right here for the eye it's four blocks and all of these are going to be one block in between each other. So skip another block over. And right here, two full blocks. And then a half slab on top, half slab on bottom. And then you're going to do a full block here, a full block here. And then you're going to have half slab here, half slab there and the same here as well like this all right now another block over we're gonna do the K so four up and then right here in the middle we're gonna do two half slabs like this and then one block up half slab full block and then the same down here as well so there's the K and then we're going to have a apostrophe and in the lettering it's actually a uh, basketball but we're going to use the jack lantern you can also just use a regular uh, pumpkin but the jack lantern has light so why not just use some hidden light and on top of that place orange carpet that resembles a basketball right up under it we're going to place an upside down Quartz stair for the apostrophe like that and then one block over again we're gonna do the S to finish this lettering off so right here place a full block on top of that half slab full block here and then double up here with two half slabs and then right here we're gonna place the half slab here full block there half slab right under that full block full block here and then we're going to end up having two half slabs just like that so this is the lettering that you should have now
All right, now this next part is going to be very tedious. It's going to be something over and over and over the same. But to make it easy, we're going to do it all together. So take the sandstone and the brick. And what we're going to do is concentrate on these sandstone parts here. So we have the sandstone here between these bricks. So you got one here, two, three, and four. Four little segments here on the front, on the left side, and four also on the right side. Again, all of these are going to be the, exactly the same all the way, or even around the side of both ends of the building. So what we're going to do is we're going to coordinate back and forth the opposite of these pillars that's going to be with the brick right here. But like I said, we're going to do these uh, sandstone first. So what we're going to do is grab the sandstone and we're going to come up another layer. So we're going to have two blocks of sandstone here. And then we're going to take this brick and we're going to have one strip of brick like this. And then we're going to end up doing another two of the sandstone and then another row of brick. And we're going to keep doing this until we have four rows of brick. So, two more sandstone. This will be the third layer of brick. Another two sandstone. And this here will be the fourth layer of brick, as you see. Now on top of the fourth layer of brick, we're going to do five sandstone. So one, two, three, four, five. So go ahead and do each segment of the sandstone the same exact way. So just like how we've done this one here, you got two sandstone, one brick, two sandstone, one brick, just like this all the way up and on top of the fourth brick we're gonna have five sandstone so do that same exact thing on every segment of the sandstone so off here for example do it here do it here do it here do it four times on that side and you're gonna do the same thing off of each end also so you're gonna do it there 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 and there so do it on both ends as well well, all right now this is what you should have I took every segment of the sandstone on up all the way around on the ends and across the front so this is what you should have now all right now once you've got that then come to the front and we're gonna do a little bit more writing right under where it says dicks we're gonna write sporting goods but it's just gonna be like squiggly little writing so right here in between the C and the K it's going to be right here. It's going to be two blocks under this and one block from here. We're just going to use these to count. So it's going to be three blocks apart from here. Alright, now we're just going to do some squealy little writing. And it's going to say sporting and then goods on this side. So what we're going to do is do like a... Uh, random little lettering here like squiggly little writing I'm gonna switch up with the stairs and the slabs back and forth I'm gonna do seven on this side and six on this side so this is one two three four five six and let's do one like this here seven over here let's do this one two three four five and six
All right, now what we're gonna do is the little pillars that's gonna be in between all these sandstone segments that we just done. So right here, for example, we're gonna take this brick on up another layer. And then we're gonna do sandstone. And then we're gonna do two more brick, sandstone, Two more brick, sandstone, two more brick, and then sandstone. So it should look like this. So you should have one, two, three, four sandstone stripes, just like what we have with the brick. Now on top of this last sandstone stripe, we're going to do another set of two, like this. And then on top of that, we're going to place the stone slabs right on top. So the same exact thing as what we just done right here in between there. Go ahead and copy that same thing in between each and every little segment that we have. So it's going to be on that end, across the front there, across the front here, and on this end here. So go ahead and do the same thing here right down here in between now once you have all those then you're going to take this sandstone and just go ahead and connect this on up right here just like this in between there like that to close it up so go ahead and do that all the way around well, alright now once you have your pillars all the way around both sides just like this and what you're going to do now is grab your stone slabs and the stone slabs is going to go right on top of the sandstone. Carry this all the way down across the front and on the side and this is going to go on both ends of the building. This is going to be the same. That's what makes this build so easy. So take this slab all the way down to the very end and again do that on the other side as well. Now once you've got that, then come to the front here and where you see this green pillar right here, knock this out and then come to this one, knock this out and then find your middle which is going to be right here and knock that one out. So once you've got that, then grab your white stained glass full block, come right in here and place one there and then you're going to place one right there and one right here as well. These are going to be the lights. So what you're going to do now is grab the iron trap door and place right on top of these right here. Alright now once you've got that then go ahead and grab your cobblestone wall and your glowstone and your signs. And again this is going to be the same on all these pillars what I'm about to do here. So let's do this pillar here first and this pillar is going to be the same as that pillar grab your cobblestone wall and coming down from this very top sandstone strip here you're going to come down by three so one right here one two and the third one right here you're going to place your cobblestone wall so you got two blocks above it and right here place your glowstone and then get your signs and the signs is going to go all the way around the glowstone like that. So this one over here is going to be like this. So you're going to come down one, two, and the third one place that glowstone and then your signs across like this. Alright now once you've got those then let's go ahead and do these right here. Now you got three sets right here on the front and you're going to have three sets over there again it's going to be the same. So what we're going to do right here place your cobblestone wall there your glowstone right there and then the same thing with the signs. So go ahead and do the same thing across the front on each pillar. Alright, now once you have your lights across the front like this, then now let's go ahead and go to the back here. Now this back corner, 
is going to be the same as that back corner right down there. So what we're going to do is make another pillar that's going to wrap around right here. So we already got the brick down. It's going to be the same technique as what we've been doing. It's just going to wrap around. So just do the same technique here with the sandstone and the brick. Hopefully you all enjoy this tutorial. If you do, let me know down below what you think of it. Hopefully you've already hit that like. And if you have any other request on any other building, just let me know, please. I'll try my best. Uh, there's a very long uh, list of stuff that I got to get done, so I got to keep that in mind. Alright, so once you have it wrapped around like this, then right on top, I'm going to do the same thing as what we've been doing. Put the stone slabs up there, and the sandstone is going to come like this right here, and come around like that. Continue this around. And that's what this is going to look like on the corner. So I'll just go ahead and do the same thing right here, right down there. Alright, now once you've got that, then now let's go ahead and fill this wall in right here. This wall is going to be, again, the light gray concrete. And it's going to go on the f all the way down on the back. And this is going to come all the way up to right here until you have one block left just like that so just go ahead and fill this entire wall in with this All right, now once you have your wall done all the way down right here is gonna be your dock doors and you're gonna need a hole cut out on both of them a nine by nine so they're already nine blocks wide and you need a whole nine blocks tall right here what we're gonna do is take the regular piston and we're gonna take them across right here now, everything I do on this one you're gonna copy and do on this one here it's gonna be the same thing so right here under these you're gonna place the iron trap door right there and while we're at it let's go ahead and grab the cobblestone wall one block apart from here and come up by three one two three right there and go ahead and do it right here as well one two three and then let's just go ahead and do it here as well one two three so come right over here and grab the black carpet place the black carpet right on top of the pistons like this and then now I'm gonna use the bone block the bone block is gonna I'm gonna do a temporary block behind it right here that way I can place it off of here like this right here and this bone block is gonna be the actual door as you see, I like the texture of this. And here's the last row here. You find the middle, which is right here. Knock that out. And then take your stair and place your stair like that for the handle. Alright, now once you've got that, then go ahead and come right here and count so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine so this will come across like this right here now I went ahead and done the bone block all the way to the top in case if you guys want to do the interior you already got the uh, garage door going up so that's the actual size from the outside that you're going to see. Alright, now right here the iron trap door is going to go like this. And then right on top of that you're going to place the white concrete just like that. So go ahead and copy that same thing on this one. Alright, now once you have your doors like this then now let's go ahead and come right over here to this back entrance go ahead and take this on up one two three more blocks right here is going to be a door 
and right down here also is going to be a door right here come across over the top and go ahead and take this on down connect this up like this and then in between each window just go ahead and take it on up and the windows you're going to use the black stained glass panes these windows are going to be a 2 by 3 so go ahead and fill all your windows in with this and then when you get your windows filled in take your cobblestone full block come up by two like this and do the same thing on the other end and then take your cobblestone slab and do the same like this and do that on the other side as well alright now once you have that grab your iron bars place iron bars right here and right down here as well alright now grab your stone brick stairs and they're gonna go upside down right here and they're gonna wrap around the top of this it's gonna go all the way down to the other end just like that and then your stone slabs is gonna go right here it's going to also wrap all the way around. Now whatever you guys choose for your roof. Go ahead and fill in here. I'm going to use the black concrete. I was going to use the coal block. Coal block doesn't look that bad either. But I'm just going to use the black concrete. So go ahead and fill that in there. Alright, now what we're going to do is grab the stone slabs and do the same thing as what we've done on top of the sandstone there. Just take the stone slabs, carry them all the way down to the very end, all the way down. And then you take the stone brick stairs and they're going to go upside down like this. And they're going to go all the way down as well. But whenever you get down there to the sandstone... You're going to wrap them around like this right here. So go ahead and do that all the way down and make sure that you wrap this around on the other end as well. Alright, now once you've got that all the way down, we're going to put a ladder right here. And how I'm going to do it is use the nether brick fence. And I'm going to come right here. One, two, three, four. The fifth one, I'm going to place a fence. And it's going to be two blocks from the ground right here. Now this is going to come all the way up to here. I'm going to knock this out like this. And this is going to come down like this. Now I'm going to use the iron bars. I'm going to come down one like this here. Come up. Now these iron bars are for support for when you climb the ladder like a safety precaution and they're going to come around the ladder like this right here so go ahead and go all the way around this ladder and up here it should look like this grab the carpet of choice I'm using gray place right there and when you get this all the way around the ladder all the way down when you get up here make sure that you come up by one like this so go ahead and put the iron bars all the way down alright now once you have your ladder like this right here then what you're going to need to do is grab your cobblestone slabs where it comes up by three like this going to take this slab all the way down to the end here 
And this slab is gonna go all the way around the building. And after looking at this, this needs to be trimmed up. There we go. That way you can walk under it. So right here we have two coming off of that. So that means that it's going to be two coming off this side. And then it's going to end up by three right here. So go ahead and go around the entire building with the half slab of cobblestone. But whenever we get to the front of the building, I'm going to do something a little bit different. We're going to use the full block. So again, this is going to come off the front. One, two, three here. Two from here. Self-explanatory. Whenever we get to here, we can't put the half slabs because the entrance will be in the way. It'll be like this. That won't look right. So what we're going to do is some blocks here so right here off of the sandstone I'm gonna cut one two three four and the fifth one I'm gonna place the half slab like that so right down here again one two three four the fifth one half slab so it's gonna come off of here like this so it's one two three four five from there and this is going to go around like what we've done earlier. It's going to go around the side of the building there. This here is going to come out one, two, three, four, five. And it's going to go ahead and connect up with what we got down there. And right in here, I'm going to dig out. And I'm going to put the full block of cobblestone inside of here for the entrance. So just go ahead and dig this whole spot out right here and put the cobblestone full block and just take this half slab wrap it around both ends well, alright now once you get to the back here with your half slab I just come off by five from this pillar because you can't have your half slabs right here in the way of the docking area where the trucks are going to be pulled through so keep that in mind so what we're going to do now to finish this off we're going to take the black concrete and come right up here and let's go ahead and fill this in. It's going to be two blocks here of the sandstone and it's going to end up with one block here of the light gray concrete. So just go ahead and fill the entire roof in. Well, Alright, now once you have your roof filled in, go ahead and put in your AC units and I'll build one to show you how I do mine. Also, right down here, I put a little electrical box to add a little bit more detail off of that roof. Cobblestone wall going up. A little junction box right here. Very simple, but it just adds a little bit more detail. Alright, now with these AC units, you're going to have them scattered around. You're going to have a good bit up here because this is a big store. How I do mine, I use the droppers and I face them upwards like this. And on top of them, I put the rail. I'm sure you all have seen this and if you're familiar with my channel you see me do this all the time now off the side here I'm just going to put the ladders you can also use the trap doors I like how the ladders look now I'll keep one like this right here and I'm going to place the cobblestone half slab here coming down like a pipe and then you guys can switch it up with the stairs that come down just like this right here also one more thing and then this will be completely done so what I'm gonna do is grab the stone brick slab and I'm gonna take this slab all the way down around and do an outline up against the edge of the roof so go ahead and do that well, alright there you go hopefully you all enjoyed this tutorial if you did again please hit that like thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time